Hi there, you're welcome to Dave Me Rx Gear channel where we talk about medications and how to use them properly. If this is your first time on our channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. That way you're able to get alerts anytime we post our other educative content as well as help us support us here at Dave Me Rx Care. All right, so let's go right ahead to the medication of today. So the medication we will be talking about today is Humulin. So Humulin is an insulin um, medication that's used in patients who have diabetes in order to help regulate that blood sugar and help control the patient's blood glucose. All right, so Humulin comes in different forms such as the Humulin R, the Humulin N, as well as the Humulin 7030. So the Umulin usually comes in 100 units per ml, but we have the Umulin R that comes in a 500 units per ml, which is a high dose of insulin that the patients are getting per milliliter. So how does insulin work? Insulin, the Humulin, um, which is a, a form of insulin, works by regulating the amount of glucose that's in that bloodstream to help reduce that um, diabetes that the patient is progression of the diabetes that the patient is experiencing. All right, so what are some of the side effects of Humulin? So the side effects include low blood sugar. So that insulin can reduce that blood sugar um, to a drastic level if the patient is not didn't take it if the patient doesn't take the medication with meals and that can cause that low blood sugar symptoms that the patient gets such as shakiness sweating uh blurred vision as well as hunger okay so what are some of the other side effects of in, uh humulin so some of the other side effects include redness swelling and itching at the injection site also, insulin can cause fat tissue thickening or thinning, which is also known as lipodystrophy. So, which is kind of like the breakdown of fats in that area where the patients are injecting the insulin. Also, insulin can cause weight gain as well as, well as peripheral edema, which is also known as swollen limbs. And it can also cause antibodies in the patient's body. All right, so what are some of the things that you need to look out for when the patient is on insulin? So the Umulin R is, or the Novolin R is injected 30 minutes before meals. So usually you wanna take this 30 minutes before you eat. And also the Humulin 7030 is taken um, 30 minutes before meals as well. So for the Humulin and Novolin, and you want to, you, this is usually administered once or twice a day and usually patients would take that without regardless to meals because it kind the level of insulin that gets exposed kind of levels up all throughout the day so it doesn't have to be taken with meals all right so what if the patient is mixing regular insulin and the um and pH insulin together. So usually the patient will draw up the regular insulin first and then the MPH insulin. So before drawing up the insulin for injection, you wanna make sure you rotate and shake the valve several times in order to completely mix that insulin and get a, a, a well-rounded mixture of that insulin before injecting it in your body. For patients who are on the Humulin pen, you wanna roll the pen back and forth between your palms up for about 10 times and gently turn the pen up and down 10 times as well to kind of mix that insulin before injecting it as well. Usually patients, as a patient, you want to inject the insulin in under the skin, in your stomach area, or your upper arms, as well as your buttocks and the upper legs as well. So you wanna make sure you rotate the injection site in order to avoid that lipodystrophy that I mentioned earlier, which is the fat tissue thickening or thinning that may occur from injecting insulin in that area. Do not refrigerate the, refrigerate the open valve or the open pen at after using the um, insulin. Also, you don't want to share insulin pen or insulin syringes in order to avoid risk of infection in patients. So infections that can um, be passed on through the blood, such as like the hepatitis and HIV, we wanna make sure that we're decreasing the risk for that and making sure that we're using um, the insulin syringe in the pen needles and we're um, tossing it right away. In order to properly dispose the insulin pen needles, 
you want to make sure you get a sharps container this can be written as a prescription from your doctor in order for it to be covered by your insurance and you can actually get that from the pharmacy or you can purchase it over the counter all right so what are some of the things like i said to monitor for while you're on humulin or novolin so you want to make sure that you are um injecting it like i said 30 minutes before meals except you're doing the n version which is administered once or twice a day so the signs that you should look out for in low blood sugar would be the sweating the shakiness hunger as well as blurred vision in this patient if you start noticing that check your blood glucose immediately and if it is low then you want to make sure that you take a glu have a glucagon prescription to help increase that blood glucose or have your food items such as the orange juice, uh, mints, or sugar substitute that you can take in order to help replenish that blood glucose back to normal. All right, I hope that this video was able to help in terms of the insights that you need to look out for while you're on Humulin or Novolin. Make sure you check out our other videos regarding insulin prescriptions in order to get more insights and information uh, regarding the use of insulin. Thank you, and make sure you hit the like and subscribe button in order to get more alerts anytime we post our educating contents, and also stay tuned to our Demi Rx Care community. Thank you, and stay blessed.